Well, good morning, Acts Church. Happy Friday, July 24th. Today in our reading from the One Year Bible, we are picking up in Romans chapter 8, verse 26. And today we are talking about all that God has given us through Jesus Christ. It's just beautiful. And we're going to start off with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for. Ah, oh, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. It's praying in tongues. And the Father, who knows all hearts and knows what the Spirit is saying, for the Spirit pleads for us believers in harmony with God's will. You want to pray the perfect will? You don't know what to, uh, of God? You don't know what to pray in a situation? Pray in tongues, and you will always pray the perfect will of God. Isn't that a wonderful gift? And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to His purpose for them. Oh, it's so beautiful when we partner with the Holy Spirit and we allow the Holy Spirit to pray through us. We can partner with heaven to pray the perfect will of God and God causes all things to work together for good. Oh, it's such a beautiful gift that He has for us. For God knew His people in advance. He knew you before the foundation of the world. And He chose them to become like His Son. He chose you. Oh, so that his son may be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And having chosen them, chosen us, he called us um, to come to him. And having called us, he gave us right standing with himself. And having given us right standing, he gave us his glory. We, the very glory of God, the glory that um, God said, oh, I can't show you this, Moses, because uh, it'll kill you. So I'm going to walk by and you can see my backside. And Moses looked and his face uh, shone so bright when he went down to the camp, they had to put a bag over his head. That glory is in us. God's glory is in us because we're his kids. We're his chosen people. It's so important for us to know who we are in Christ, that we are God's chosen people, that he called us to be his own. Because when we know who we are, then we can step forward in the purposes and the callings that he has for us. Jason and I were in a meeting years ago and I looked across the room and there was a man walking across the room and he just carried himself a little differently, a little straighter, and he just walked a little differently. I elbowed Jason and I said, there's something different about that man. Well, later we got to meet him and he became a good friend of ours and come to find out he was a prince. And um, he walked differently, he spoke differently, and everything that he did was for the purposes of his kingdom back home. Everything that he thought about, uh, every conversation that he had was for the advancement and the betterment of his kingdom back home. Well, when we know who we are, that we are sons and daughters of God, that, um, that we are chosen by him, that we carry his glory, that we carry the precious Holy Spirit inside of us, then we walk a little differently. We talk a little differently. And everything we do is for the purposes of the kingdom. So family, I just wanted to encourage you today. You are loved by God. You are chosen by God. God has a good plan for you. He has a way for you to always uh, pray in his perfect will. And as it says later in our reading today, if God be for us, who can be against us? God loves us, family. Have a wonderful day.